Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to a Saturday night, Saturday evening of Chatting Over Cards. We are thrilled that you are here with us. You know, it might mean that you have as exciting Saturday nights as we do. <laughs> but this is an exciting Saturday night for us because we are sharing just really some heartfelt cards with you. So, <laughs> so for us, it is an exciting night. But thank you for sharing in this. And if you're watching the replay, that is great too. So I just wanted to share... Uh, you know, unknowns to me, Holly collected cards from, I guess she put, I don't know where she put it out, probably the back porch stampers and the, I don't know where she, she put it out. She must have a secret. Maybe, I don't know how she assembled all these cards, but on our, on stage and our after party, we were presented with this overflowing, I'll just show you the, oh, it lost the card, I'm going to show you. Holly made this. And it was overflowing with cards. The cards are gone, but I just want to give her credit for this beautiful card basket. So, um, card basket. Basket for anything. But, you know, I immediately think cards. What's better than a gift of cards, right? So isn't this great? And this was overflowing. So we're going to put that aside. And so tonight we're going to look at the cards. I did open these. I usually don't open them until we're on here. But because this was so special, I opened them the night we came home. And just with um, so much gratitude and you're to pull up the cards from the basement oh, from, from the basement from the floor i think you're going to show those first we're going to show cards. oh i will oh oh you can wait See, can. we've rehearsed as always <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're doing but um it was just very emotional reading all these cards so i just really want to thank you guys for that and there's some of course amazing cards so i was going to first start with Oh, thanks, thanks everyone, with some awesome gifts. And do you know what's terrible when you travel? Sometimes the names get lost. So we're going to put this down now. Oh, we are? Yeah, we're going to put this down so we can show things. Marilyn, I would like to know how your eye surgery went. She's got her head down. So, so you really can still watch, because this is a very visual show. You're not going to get much out of just hearing this. <laughs> but names. Uh, about the stamps that I make, you know, we are going December 9th. We are go being flown into Salt Lake City for a couple of days of pampering. And First class. we'll be meeting with the designer that's in charge of doing our stamp set meeting. But it takes forever to do this. So it's not to be at least, year, we're year talking one now. to two years. So it's a long time. We're just in concept stage. So, <laughs> <coughs> yes, this... This has been oh, I was supposed to a long day, but a fun day. He was going to give me tea, but see, I, that cough was a gentle yeah. hint, but that's okay. He didn't get it. Okay, Again. that's okay. We'll do without. I'll wait till after. <laughs> okay, we we're going to... Oh, my goodness, Kathy, you had Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, that's, that's over. How nice. Now, I am not positive. I'd like to... Anne Hillary, if you're on here, I don't know if this gift was from you. This, I absolutely love this. And you know how things come back again? We made little scrapbooks of this years ago for gift things and I have forgotten all about it we just forget things things and this is such a lovely gift so look at this and these are just the envelope holders is this awesome with paper put in and she printed out a bunch of our stops and since she's the last stop in this book but wasn't the last stop on her thing I just thought well, that would be fun it might might be her and by the way, the other Starbucks winners, I know, I still have to put up tomorrow because I'm ready to mail everything out. It has been catch-up time here. But is this an awesome idea? And if you notice this, I'll show how to make some of these, but these are just the envelope, the clear envelopes, all attached at the top. So instead of sealing them, you see how they're attached at the top, put holes in, and a ribbon. And I think this would be an awesome gift for any special occasion. So... I even think of things like um, if somebody has an 80th birthday, would this be an awesome gift to give them afterwards? If it's your mom or your friend or something and you took pictures, that they could have just handy to go again and enjoy looking at the people that were at the party. So I just love this. Or someone's birthday party or a vacation you took with someone. So, and Hillary, she says, she hopes I don't mind finishing it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm just glad we got it. We got it right. See, I thought it was you, but then I just get a little, because I had a couple names wrong on the other things the other day. Um, things just get mixed, but I love this idea, and it's just stunning. And look, she put celebrate you. So I think that is just an amazing idea. She also did this. And Anne, I was going to, if you have the pattern again, I was going to have you just send it to me so I could, or just post it here for people who might want to do this. Um, this looks complicated. 
But I bet it's not once you have it done, if you have a few people together. And you know, this reminds me of a brand new stamp set we have that absolutely has some shoes in it. I think for a women's tee or a special little thing is this, and it did pretty good for traveling back in our very, very packed suitcases. And yep. see, here is a long thing with the goodies. So how fun is that? So that is just amazing. And then I had a lot of comments. Oh, let's see, let me start. Oh, this is beautiful. Christine Pierce from here, look at this. It's all framed, congratulations, stamping up, stamp your way to the top, a million 2019. So I have to put this in my stamp room. That means it could go anywhere in the house because <laughs> yes, I, I have a stamp house. <laughs> Every room has Except my kitchen. <laughs> Except Tim's kitchen. Yes. But isn't that, I mean, how fun and all done in the black and silver. So just a very fun idea. Yeah, and that's why it's fine if you even do it tomorrow. You don't have to race and do it right now. But whenever you do it and send it to me, so you can assume, do it a week from now. But it would be just, I know people are, have already been asking me about it. I assume that's a frame you just buy anywhere. Buy frame, and then you but then decorate you, it and put you, you bury, in. And you put the little. Yep. And the frame came like this with all these silver. And then do you see how she yeah. has added all this, the, the, um, glit, what, what do you call it? The glitz around the edge. So see? So I think what a very fun idea that is. And then Linda Heller. Oh, sent this. And first we have to look at the cute box. So look at this. This is black and gold. And it says, what a dazzling demonstrator. And she's got the, these are from that stars, from the, the stars dies. And is that I a think in the silver. Is that a stamp? That it is a stamp that we could get as demonstrators or something like really? that. For, yes. I, 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 I might have one somewhere, Tim, if you yeah. want to start making well, cards for me to send maybe. to the, <laughs> I'm sure I will. <laughs> and she gave me this beautiful necklace that says create, inspire, share. Those are um, key points from the you know logo of Stampin' Up! And I thought, is that cool? That is my kind of jewelry too, just kind of chunky and plain. I said, oh, I just love that. And I love what it means. So what a great gift. Marilyn, since you lives lives by herself, she could turn her house into craft room. Yes, yes. We have, Tim has his Zen Den in the basement, but that's the only place that doesn't have crafts. That's right. <laughs> now, Debbie Mookie, Mookie, I have to say, it rhymes with cookie. Debbie Mookie and her team went over the top on several gifts, and a few people asked. I showed this one the other night briefly, and people have asked, and I know, and I could ask Debbie exactly. You know what these are? They are like the coasters that you, you I know you can get at Amazon, different sizes or things, but they are um, coaster boards, same thing you do coasters, so it's just like cards, heavy cardstock, like something like that. Um, so and you can get them different sizes. This is a refrigerator. I thought, what an awesome, awesome gift this would be. Isn't that cool? And there I can, I'll put a, a link. Tailored Expressions is where we get um, calendars for 2020. So we can also put a link here if people are interested. But I think this is really a lovely, useful gift and quite not too time intensive to make. You know, I think it's pretty awesome. I love how she put the little felt heart there. And this says do something creative every day. And this could go on the refrigerator or in your office on anything metal, like the filing cabinet. So I think that is just a great idea. And then her Debbie and the gang. So this the, this is from them too. And I thought, you know, a little tablet and you put a holder on it. Isn't that awesome? Ch um, chipboard, is that, is that what, what it's called? Um, that could be Francis. I just can't even remember because I, I thought it was, there's another name I was trying to think of, but I can't think of what it is. Cardboard. Uh, but there's. Uh, uh, what are those poster board containers? Poster but yes, it could be that. Oh, Debbie is on here. Okay, so everyone's being wowed by Debbie's things here. And her team also did this. Now, this is a class that Debbie offers. And I think, um, Debbie, this could be an awesome class to offer in the mail. So uh, it, she's my downline, so I am glad to. Can I just say something? Yes. Karen was saying today oh. <laughs> that she's glad that we don't host Christmas because we don't have to do all this over-the-top decorating of our house. We could do this, this our one it. thing. This, this is, it. is it. Yes, we, is we, it. We, we don't decorate. So thank you, Debbie. <laughs> we really simplified our life there. But, I, <laughs> but And this is what caused 
our luggage to be one pound over. Yes. It was, our luggage was one pound over, and they said it'd be $163. Yes, this is an right. expensive So we took gift. it out, and so we took this out, had to measure again, and it was under. So this is at least a one pound gift. <laughs> okay, but here is what amazing. I want to make sure that you see this. This is just beautifully done. It's got all these little sparkly things. And then inside, you can do this so you can switch for the oh, seasons. Oh, my goodness. I never saw it's that. It's a chalkboard. Oh, I didn't see this till. Actually, wow. I think we got when we got home and I kind of figured it out. I was showing it to some people that came over. So isn't that awesome? So the gift is here and then you can keep putting different things. So Debbie, we have a question from you too. Oh, oh Debbie did use rectangle coasters. So Debbie, if you can find that link and need to put it in here or shoot it to me or something, that's great. And also, where did you get these frames and did it? Here's the questions I'm getting. Did it already have the chalkboard on it or did you... Did you get this stuff, paint the chalkboard, and put it all together? That's what we wanted to know. You know, whether it's um, clean this way, which is what um, people were hoping, or whether you did all that extra work. <laughs> but I think this is stunning. So you hang this, and then you change with the seasons. Oh, that's a magnet. Yes, isn't that cool? Oh, I was wondering how it stayed in there. So these are some great gift ideas. Now... I have little gift ideas I'm going to share next Monday night that I got in swaps, not not little, but um, swap gifts. But these are all like people that gave me gifts on um, that night. So I said these were amazing, unbelievable. So we just really appreciate all of these. So now, see, I'm helping you with your gift making. Our house is decorated. And now, if Tim would remember to go pick up the cards from the floor. Yes. <laughs> I actually, my back has bothered me the last couple of days, which is why I didn't do it. And I think it's just been the busyness of what we've been doing. And you guys know, usually I'm on the floor and up off the floor. So I am trying to, so that's why I'm trying to get him to do that. The first card I but he's a little up, slow on the uptake here. The first card I picked up was to Holly. Oh, we better not open Holly, Holly's card. Maybe I did already. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one's, oh no, but I think they're to me and they were sent to Holly. I think that's the deal. Yes, they are. So oh. see, that's why, that's why we didn't know what this was. So these are some awesome cards for many different reasons. And I love this black and white. How stunning is that? And so notice a lot of these are congratula congratulatory cards, and kind of whatever that would be used for a lot of occasions. So I think it's fun, but I, I love that. And people just wrote wonderful messages. So beautiful, and this is actually vanilla, but you know, say it's like black and white, but that black and vanilla is just beautiful. So I assume. Start. He was just thinking these, see, these weren't mine. Okay, and this was from Kim from, oh, Sandusky. So this was Kim Bowie. I'm always surprised. I'm always wondering how I say things. Um, and I love how she's got this little, you know, it's angled coming down that way. So do you see how they're popped up? But they're not curving this way. They're curving below. Another just beautifully simple card, closer to me. Oh, see, this is what I have to remember. We better put it here. Oh, I know. These are just amazing gifts. <laughs> Marilyn was working on the, a quilt on the floor and then could hardly walk the next day. Yeah, no, I, I maybe better be careful. But I'm on the floor all the time. But, you know, it is just what it is. Anyway, and these were precious notes that I just... Um, this really Debbie. means a lot to me. Oh, and look, this is from Debbie and the gang again. And look, this is a card to go with this. They just got separated. But how cool is that? So you can do that and do a, do a combined thing. Am I doing well now? It's so funny because there is a leg. So I can, so, push, I can push that out. If you, uh, no, it, it's okay. You can pick oh, oh okay. Tim's trying to have me organized here. You know, it is a lost cause. Um, Teresa, Teresa has to be, oh, Teresa is one of the people we met, but I won't, I'm not going to remember last names, but, um, or, or, <laughs> but look how fun this is with, and we've got the gold centers and the mercury, that mercury acetate in between. So it's the kind where you put cards down here and the flowers. Beautiful. Okay. So this is working. Okay. Yes. I, these are beautiful projects tonight. I just feel like people just went really overboard. I, I'll put things over here. Okay, next. Oh, do you want to see how many we have? We have this stack and Tim's stack. So first I thought I should do this in two, and then I thought, no, this is the topic for night. We'll do them all. And on the back of here, this is Paula, Paula Bowie, and Paula and Kim Bowie are sisters-in-law. 
Uh, this isn't just a card, it's a hug in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun saying for the back. And the beautiful red cardinal. You see how she's done the berries with the bread there? I think just very lovely card. We just, we really, oh yeah, back to the old spot. I've got it, I've got it. I, um, it was really so much fun meeting so many move. people and doing this. No we're, no, we're good. Look at this, it's your day. Okay. This is Kim Glover from, this from Minnesota. I could be saying where people are, some, some are from the trip. Okay, is this good? Okay, okay. Yeah. Tim's gonna um, keep on track of me here. And I, That's oh, cool. I love what she did on the inside here. That's a full-time job. It is. And I also think this is really cool. Now, this is layered on one of the doilies. And then this is, you know, this is a circle thing, too, that's fancy for the words. And it's from one of those fancy die sets. But isn't that fun how it's two circles? And we have the leaves here. And you can see this is a background stamp, so it just makes a, just makes a background stamped over. And then it looks like it was re-stamped on the smaller one because it's much lighter. But it gives that same tone effect. Yeah, we got to put some washi tape on here. We're going to do something X marks, X marks the stop, you know. Rebecca's just dreaming of all the classes we have to do with these ideas. You're right. I said, and I just, and I think that is just as stunning. And it's pretty monochromatic, the one color and then black and white. So, so that is beautiful. I figured out how, how she did this. She just had them send them to her house. And it's, we had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then she brought them in her van. So. Yes. Ramona Stedman. And she had to hire, uh, she had to get a trailer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> her, 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 uh, SUV was pretty packed. <laughs> she was driving alone. So uh, this, someone can tell me this might be a paper pumpkin one. I don't know. It certainly Karen, is stunning. I'm so bad at getting those put together. I have, you know, like like a few of you I know, I have a stack of them. Um, and a lot of them I have. That's anyway, but a uh, beautiful card. I love that with those feathers. And the cheers to you. And Vicki Jones. Some of these people we saw today because we had a local, saw the local people we saw. And Kim actually drove up from southern Minnesota. From Austin, tech from Austin, Minnesota. Austin, Minnesota. So she made the drive. Okay, you are wonderful. This reminds me of a paper that we had before, but it isn't that paper. But isn't it similar? I don't think. Did we have you in it? Maybe it was. See what I remember. Okay. But isn't that fun? And this is... Um, some designer series paper with the stamping right on there. So just a fun idea when you've got a soft background to do that with. So wonderful. That's from Trish. From Trish in Florida, Trish Sperlin. Friendship isn't just one big thing. It's a million. What a great play in words when you look the catalog and you're looking for things for Special occasions, look at that. It's a million little things <laughs> for my million in sales. Is that, is that just hilarious? And this is the stamp in this. And you see how she stamped it four times and made a border. So just a very, yeah, it is a paper pumpkin cake. Okay, good. So I just want to, but, but I, what a fun idea that is too. And then put the words and add some butterflies. So it is just beautiful. Oh, those succulents are paper pumpkin. Could you, oh, that's why. Because they look so similar to, see, I, I should open mine. But sometimes, you know what? I've often been using them as gifts, so, you know, it's a great thing then, too. Then might, somebody else might get interested. Kathy Kraft from California. And I thought, I love this card. Uh, oh, and you got to look how she did the inside. Is too. I'll tell you what I love. If, do you recognize this? This is from the trees, you know, that we see the swing from. If you've seen that on some cards, i got to be careful to it, I think. But she's done it in white and had it standing up. And I think that is just stunning. I would not think to do that. So I'm going to do that with that <laughs> with that set. And then we have the congratulations, you did it. So how fun is that? Oh, people's two confessions. People are saying how many paper pumpkin boxes they have. You know, they are the perfect thing to take on vacation or if you go to retreat. Cindy Jolson, we saw her today too. Oh, and this is a corner fold card. How cool is oh, that? I, Another one that we're going to be doing. I couldn't figure it out. Oh, Tim could. Tim could figure it out. Sometimes you have to enclose directions. I didn't want to break it. How cool is that? And with the um, copper paper here, that's gorgeous. Or with, with, you know, what's with the, everything is rosy, medley. Whatever that paper was in there, the rose gold. That's gorgeous. Love that. Oh, thanks, you guys that are sharing. That is just, do you know that is the 
best thing that you can do for us because it brings in more people for us. Uh, Lynn Laurie from Florida. And this is absolutely stunning. This is with the first frost set. Look at that with the nesting dies. One with there and then all of these pretty flowers and some of that glimmer paper. Oh, and the inside. Look at that, a reason to celebrate. Isn't that cool? So just a gorgeous card, I just love. Look at all the layers on that card. There's lots of pieces layered up and it is just stunning. Oh, and Tim's doing a good job of putting them back in envelopes because I don't do that either. <laughs> Ruth Norton from New Mexico. Person on my team that we are hoping to go see now when we are traveling this winter. And I love the colors that she's used here. Fun. And so she has the words on vellum and then she's got the flowers cut out and then she has stamped this background. And I thought it's really a really lovely layout. And then a few little accent pieces, just a very nice layout. And oh, I love it. You guys are putting hearts out and stuff. So I said, it's just great. People are loving all of this. This is Karen Tackett from Indiana. I always have to look at the inside. Oh, and she did put a bunch of words in here, which is, co which is cool. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. How fun is that? And just got the flowers and then one stamped out in the middle and the two different backgrounds here from the perennial essence. So fun colors. You know, purple and green, I just never thought about putting together until this paper came out. And we're having a lot of fun with purple and green. So very fun. I have to make sure the cards come over here because I have a stack here to show next week, I'm you know, from floor, people. So. Oh, you're putting it on the floor. Okay. Back on the floor. This Maybe they belong the only, there. Only name, no last name from. Oh, oh, this is Mary Fredericks, who is oh. my college roommate. Oh. So do we go back a ways? And she's also Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. She was, she has lived in, uh, she was in Florida for quite a few years and then Mississippi and then she's up here. Um, in more northern Minnesota. And so this looks like their place. They're on a little lake. They have a place on a lake. And I thought, uh, how cool is that? And we keep trying to get together and it just doesn't work because she's only like three hours away. So there's no excuse. Oh, Janice is saying she thinks that's bubble wrap on that one. Yeah, and since they're on the floor, I don't think tonight we can re re recover them. But I bet you're right to it in the back. So we could see that. And they were awfully even. So very fun. But isn't this a beautiful scenery? And then she's got some... A wink of wink of Stella in there, that but that like, is that, looks that like is really can. a beautiful card. Yeah, it looks like looks like their lake place. So very great. Yeah, green really is like another neutral. Yeah, you're, you're right, Rebecca. I think that's right. Kathy Ost. Kathy Ost, who was just, just here. here and saw her earlier today too. Let's celebrate you and look at that embossed in silver on posy, pink posy, and then colored in with some blends and then. You are something wonderful on the inside. So all done in kind of the white and the purple posy. How fun. Great. Oh, see, I don't know, I don't know where to think. Uh, Janine Peabody from Ohio. And a beautiful collage card. I, you know, this is another stamp set I own and I love it, but I just haven't played with it yet. But I really like what she's done with just the words and then this over it and the just a note. And she did the inside too. And she stamped her inside up high so she could leave a note, you know? So that's a very fun collage card. I'm trying to see, I'm not seeing, um, oh, um, sometimes the comments move forward and sometimes they seem to just kind of get stuck. Okay, next, oh, and she's done an envelope to match hers. And this is Linda Goldhurst and I think, you know, people always ask me, do a small card? What do you do with them? I just put them in a regular envelope. That doesn't matter at all. It still looks just great when you pull it out. This is just stunning. And I think what a fun size. Look at this. This is using the little wooden elements. And she stamped a little hello on it. Oh, this is something I never took out to use either. So it's so fun to see this. And this is from in the fall catalog, those leaves. But you see how this one is, that's actually done in... It's actually done in crumb cake, and then it has, looks like gold shimmer on top of it. How, how cool is that? Either that or the gold pad, but look at all the little, all the little details on that is just really pretty. I'm reminded that these are just Karen and Tim. 
we said that if you bring a card to the Starbucks meeting that we had, we'd show it online. So this is the yeah, no, well, no, but these. Oh, oh, you know, two of them were, but no, they're oh. mostly from, these are mostly from Saturday night. So these oh, are people that were there are. Saturday night, except for the boys. Um, thinking about that, that's interesting because, yeah, you guys aren't demonstrators, but, you know, you got in on this too, so that was awesome. So they just got put in the wrong pile, but but that's good. See, then we show them a couple of times. So, okay, this is Diane Schoonover, and this is another beautiful card, the Two Wild Rose. And now look how she's done the flower embossing. And yeah, Janice, I agree. That little card was just so detailed. Yep. And if you notice on here, so this is done. This looks like Rococo Rose. And you see how the cutouts are in the same color and it just gives even more texture in the background. I think that is beautiful. And then the rose popped up here and stars below. I also, this really hit me because I wouldn't think of putting these together and it just looks really nice and then some scattered stars. So I thought, how cool. And then look at the congrats inside with one more of these layouts and then a bunch of little stars. So another gorgeous card. From Toledo, Ohio. And this is, so we say the states if they put it on, Chris Bond with Toledo, Ohio also. And this is I'm trying to think of what this um what what the die cuts are the beautiful bouquet or something but look at that just really a fun filled in bouquet and the flowers cherish live dream and then this is embossed the little flowers up there so very cool oh and the inside too that's beautiful absolutely beautiful this is fun read the outside and then the inside it's a great okay birthdays are the best days no, I don't know. I think no, this day was no. better than well, my birthday. Well, okay. You read it. Oh, okay. Except for the day you learned you sold a million dollars. <laughs> Isn't that a great way to do and a card when you have the Linda, other? <laughs> Linda Briel. I think that's, I love it. <laughs> when you can do a fun little twist on words, that's really great. <laughs> that's good. And this one is Sandy Noose. Okay, time to celebrate. She's someone I've known for a long time, too, um, just as a stamper. But, you know, I haven't talked to her in years. So I think, how fun. And this detailed little, little die right there with time to celebrate. Oh, that's so fun. Thank you so much, Sandy. Oh, yeah. okay, Sandy, Sandy. And the next one. Harvest bless many happy harvest blessings and inside it says your heart is one in a million. <laughs> Wendy uh, Connie Hobbs, another downline in Florida about that beautiful coloring. And I I love this milk can with the things. I just absolutely love this stamp. See, I might even get names wrong here. And this is from Lori Nibby was from here but drove all the way out to Michigan so I just appreciate that you soar above the rest congratulations how cool is that with the three balloons and the bird ballad paper and those colors simple and very striking I think that's just really a beautiful card see I couldn't even read aloud what's inside or you'd have me just totally crying so I'm <laughs> reading it anyway but I think it's just so, so fun to just open these Judy Zeiger from Wisconsin and butterflies. Butterflies are always a great thing for cards. And I think, you know, what a fun thing with you've got your strips here and the little details on the edges and then assorted butterflies. Yeah, Brooke is saying the inside of the cards are nice, so pretty. Yeah, a lot of people went to the extra, extra, went the extra step and did the insides of cards. I am notoriously bad at doing that. This is from Laura Guggenberger. Time to celebrate all the lovely things in life, starting she's, with you. She's local. She's local. There are a bunch of words that just really fit a lot of different occasions, aren't they? And how cool is this? So this is a gatefold card. And just really pretty with the ribbon and the paper. And then she just cut out one little flower for the accent. And this is Susan French from Florida. And oh, do something creative every day. 
And this is like a watermark when you do things really light so you can still write over them. So it just it makes a really cool inside. And you know, I love this. So we're seeing that tonight some because of course what we do is being very creative. And that's what I get to do for a living. I mean, how lucky am I? So this is just a great stamp set for doing this. I said that on your special day. So beautiful. And Falba Dorset from Mississippi. And how cool, to look at all the layers of the two daisy punches. We have the large one and then we have the small one. And I love how she's used two different colors and she is stamped on the base, on the base card and then added different twigs with, with uh, punches. So the rest of this is all punches. So you don't need a, you know, folders or anything to do that. And it's just a beautiful card. Carla says she always tries to put something in the inside. I'm terrible. I always think I'm going to do it when I'm ready to send it, but then I don't because, you know, the outside's done and I, I always keep a little basket of finished ones so I can grab one to send out. And then I, you got to do it when you start. <laughs> that is beautiful. Kelly Jones from Ohio. And this is, so how cool is this? So this stands up like this and it says, you did it. Congratulations on such an amazing accomplishment with Celebrate Across here. This is, do some of you recognize, this folds flat. This is what we call an impossible card. And this is where you write on it <laughs> or in the backs of any of these. But then you open it and then this will stand up. This is one we had done in one of the Fun Folds classes and I think that's really cute. It's just a fun card to have and put on you know, just to put out to see. So beautiful, Kelly. Thank you. Karen Baldwin from Iowa. I love this dancing girl, and I always wonder if she's going to be around another year, but look at how pretty this is. So this is a, oh, a double Z fold. Oh, Tim. <laughs> if you could see Tim now, he's trying to reach around me, and I'm afraid he's going to fall on the floor, but it's a good thing you can't see him. <laughs> I'm make him up. But love how this is just blue, like to go with this blue in this fancy trim. What a gorgeous card. And then she's got some stamping right there and the words right there. So happy for you. Gorgeous. And then it'll stand, you know, these cards stand up like that. So they're just really fun cards. And I also like how she took the little light gray, it looks like smoky slate and just put that around for shading. So it kind of just fits that soft touch. If you can see that. That is awesome. So Nancy, what's Nancy's last name? Mon Nancy oh. Moncombe. Okay, now here. this we is... We saw her today, too. Mm -hmm. This is how she sent the card. Holly Jean Marie Sutton. Whoa, she went the extra. She, she to, used all of Holly's names. I wanted okay. to make sure that I got to her. <laughs> this is, at the moment, just one of my favorite dyes. I just love how, how they do that. And then there's a dye that goes in it. And she's done that out of Designer Series paper. And then used another one underneath for the long way. I thought, that's just very cool. And then, look what she's put inside. That's very cool. So added more details here. Lovely. Tinley very Park, fun. Illinois. Mm -hmm. Diane Cariotas from Tinley Park. I love, and this is uh, a non-layered card when you talk about, um, um, which I love to do more of. Look at this. It's just a little strip of paper and then the vases and the flowers. And I just think that is a beautiful card. Great way to do a non-layer card. And then we have just the two colors in here, the green and this that goes with that, with the words underneath. So this is like a little table. Isn't that a great single card, uh, a single layered card? <gasps> Thank you. And Ruthville from Iowa. A reason to celebrate. And you open this and you see the back side. This is one of the card layouts I just use so often with designer series paper. You have it this way or this way. And do you see how you see both sides? So when you can't decide which side to use, look at this. We are seeing both of them. And it's just such a fun idea. And I love that with a, you know, simple, elegant, beautiful. Sue Freeman from Washington State. An oversized card. You know, I said before, that's a, if you want to make a statement, go, just go for an oversized card. You know, that's, that's what we did. <laughs> the thing that I thought, see which way that goes. But, oh, and it is um, a gatefold. Look at that. It's beautiful. Congratulations. It's your day. 
Oh, look how fun that is. And it folds in the middle like that and has this die cut. I think this is the same So cushion. that's beautiful. Because there's no card with it. There's no card with this one? So well, there's no envelope, I mean. There's, well, well, let's try to figure out who this is. Now, this is stunning, too. So I said, well, let me look at this. So here is the two, a wildflower. And it's got all three layers put on here. And then it looks like it's on shimmery paper. And we've got our copper. And look what we've got. All this. And it's a belly band card. So we're going to slide off the belly band. Oh, who sent this? Oh, this. Oh, no. It is. Read that. Melissa Ludke. Or Lud, Lud, Luddle. Luddle. I'm having trouble reading your name. But is that gorgeous? That so look, it's going to stand like that. Look at the back. So if you know where you want to write. Now, she wrote things on here and just wrote here. But you see how you could also stamp? But this is going the extra mile because, you know, the back you could post to or you could do the front. Nice. So this is going to stand like this. So another beautiful, beautiful fun fold. And it folds up like, you know, like, like Tim, Tim, should I give this to you to fold up? Yes. Oh, like, no, not like this. Cause, no, oh, I, like they, this. No. It's kind of like an impossible oh, yeah, card. It, it is. Yeah. That, okay, now I got it. Because that's why. Isn't that just a striking card? Okay, another one for our fun full class. You know, I so said that is just beautiful. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. Oh, I'll let Tim put that back Maybe together. Because he's so good at this. Mickey Benke. Mickey. Oh. Well, she goes by Mickey. She's okay. officially Mary. But... Butterflies, butterfly punches, and she's drawn in. I said, that's great. She's drawn in the, the little fillers. I just always leave them, and I thought, how fun is that? And more butterflies on the inside. Red and blue could be a very patriotic card. But thank you, Mickey. And then the gold here, that's awesome. Oh, Mackenzie said that's called an M-fold card. See, Ooh. I just don't, I didn't know that's new to me. And I said, how, you know, how great is this? Now, this looks like... This is Amanda Kujala, who was also there. This first frost, or this what, uh, winter frost, whatever this paper is, is so stunning. Look, this is just the paper cut. She's printed or stamped right on here. Congratulations, and added the details. And then the bottom, this is cut off just a wee little bit. And you have the ribbon there. So we have just a little bit of this. And I think, isn't that, and talk about an easy card. <laughs> yes, our list is getting, yes, we can definitely add that card. I'll put that down as one for our January class because that is really stunning. So thank you, Melissa. Read, all, it the, will be read all the comments on here. Okay, this is from? Deb Townsend. Yeah, Deb Townsend, but I thought here, another just gorgeous card. I got sidetracked when he's talking about what? Read all the comments. Celebrate, <laughs> amazing, spectacular, fantastic human. How pretty is inside that? Inside, too. Read the inside. And this is a wide ribbon and then a button. Isn't that just a great accent piece? And black always sets things off. And look at those soft colors. And I always love it when people do leaves. Like, if you notice, it's to go with the button and the style of this card. She has picked crumb cake instead of green. And I just love that. I think it's just really a fun... Oh, and look, she did the inside, too. And read the inside. Let the celebration of your fabulousness begin. <laughs> fun cards. But look at that. That, uh, so, yeah, the inside is almost as decorated as the outside, but that is just really stunning. Also, oh, we're, we're getting there. This is from Jan Drake, and this is the, you know, names defeat me, but that embossing folder, you know, the folder thing, sponged first, and then when you put it through the folder, the white part pops up. I, I did a video on this, so I hope I'm saying that right. And maybe I'm doing it all wrong. Sometimes I told, oh, you know, you did something all wrong, but I'm thinking, but how fun is that? So there's the, you're the best in the blue, and then adding the celebrate. So just a fun technique. And a nice stamped inside, too. So that is great. Put the other with that. And the name uh, is on the back Jennifer Bulk. Bach Bulk. Jennifer Oh, got to show this envelope because, okay, she's gone the extra, oh, she has gone the extra mile here. Oh, yeah, okay, so she is. Um, we we know her as Jennifer B. Yeah, yeah, she is 
Now, <laughs> but look at how she's also done the envelope and she's done the congrats, you know. Here's where you want the stamp positioner, <laughs> but the colors, I thought, how cool is that? And then this is decorated all around there and again on the inside with more words. So, and so notice this is another single layer card. So there's a lot you can do with that. That's just really beautiful. Country floral embossing folder. Mackenzie, I just need you sitting right beside me to look these things up, you know. <laughs> but, but you're doing a good job. You just add it. But, but that is just a, an, a great um, now, idea for a single fold. This one mm -hmm. comes on a 4-H letterhead. Oh, so Tim is impressed. I am. He's, he's noticing the 4-H part. Yeah, so. Very 4-H. So you, David. Oh, and she says, I'm so proud to be in a stamping family that includes you and Linda and Debbie. That would be Linda Heller and Debbie Mookie all in this group. How sweet is that? And look at this. Hooray, you did it. Love it. And what a great sentiment. And we just wanted to say congratulations. Did you see Love her the name? gold hooray there? You said her down lane or up lane, but do you see Oh, her? did I say her name? I don't know. I might not. Well, I got to I got to read to the bottom of this and just see. Diane. Oh, yes, Debbie. I didn't say it. Diane R O N G E. And I do, never know. Wrongy, wrong. I don't know. You try, Tim. What do you think? No. Oh, but I have to point this out because she did. She went the extra mile there, too. As I said, it's really yes. fun when people also do. So we're setting the stage, you guys. We like to see insides of cards and envelopes. Okay? And, Is that too much to ask? No. And we're talking extra mile. <laughs> yeah. And another. Oh, and here's another one we're stamped on the envelope. This is another just beautiful card. This is Kim Tovar. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at how you say these things. But I want you to notice, in addition to the coloring, if you can see, and this looks like watercolor pencils, and this is done in light blue along the outside for the shading. Okay, so does that show? And notice this background right here. Usually you think of doing, you know, I always talk about doing quarter inches and you do the whole thing. Isn't this cool how she put that, cut that diagonally? So this would be the same size as this one, but then she's just using half of it as an accent. So I think that is a great, great card. Did I ever tell you that I grew up on a dairy farm and we used to use milk cartons? Like yes, that? and there's a milk carton right on here. I know, and you made a really pretty card. You probably don't even remember with the milk carton <laughs> once. <laughs> but he probably doesn't remember. Probably but if I put it out, he'd love to choose it as his choice for something else. This is Carla Hess. And I love how she's colored and how she's colored the ink. ink. And, and then we have the tin. I love this. This is another one of my favorite embossing folders, the tin Ah, uh, you know, whatever it is, it kind of could look like tin ceilings or tin anything. But I can't remember. It. Tin is part of it. <laughs> but I think, how fun. And I love the little congratulations right across the can there. And if you're ever wondering what to do with that little skinny th little thread, if you get it, there, there's a good idea right there. Because sometimes, sometimes I'm wondering what to do with that. But so really a fun. Envelope and on the inside, it's all stamped. Oh, oh, look at that. That's really cool because you're using this on the bottom. And then another stamp. And I um, wanted to point out one. Oh, I think this is really fun too, how this goes. You know, when you use an oval like this, it's easy to think I'm going to center things in the middle. So notice how this goes way, way over the top and how cool that looks. So this is just centered on the bottom of it. And I think that's really fun. Diane said, I remember, then I forgot. Ooh, that would be a good line for a stamp set. I think a lot of us could use that, right? <laughs> and this is from Florida, from Sally and Tom in Florida. Kate, okay. so I have a feeling Sally made this, not Tom. <laughs> but I, So I'm just going to go with that. Oh, look at this little heart up here and the little teeny tiny pearls. Isn't that a fun accent? And so she's got all these congrats down the side too and the ribbon and this. Oh, and the inside too. How fun. Beautiful. Um, I think of it as a tin roof, but what is it called, you guys? What is that tin? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's not even tin. <laughs> I don't know what I think. But that's really a fun layout, too. <laughs> and I love that little accent. I so said, that's just really sweet. How it's got all those little things. Usually. Well, yep, we're actually getting to the end. We're, we're going to make it yet. But it's one of our longer um, show and tells. <laughs> and this one is Shirley Caniff. And she did the inside, too. And this is fun. She stamped the words over here, but look, she put an accent over on this side of the, of the paper. That's really cool. And here is the front. Now, this is the same that is in that um, frosted set. 
And this has nothing to do with winter or that paper. This really makes a great background. And then she's uh, cut out flowers from the from the same pack that this is from. You know that really popular um, that that really popular one. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Um, <laughs> press ceiling tiles. And then, but I don't remember what it is, but but. I think, you know, that wouldn't be too hard of a card to make, and I think it really is elegant. So, fun idea to do that. And Deborah Travis Pound from New York. New York. And she's got her own little stamp in the back here. Heart, art, art from the heart stamp, a little thing, and then puts her name right above that. That's a cute little thing. And, you know, this is fun to do. at say if you're really into dogs or cats or gardening or whatever, if you have just a little stamp that represents you, that's always can be a fun thing to do on the back of your cards and have that be your signature and then just put your name, you know, with the date. But that's really cool. Marilyn says she's always loved show and tell, even in elementary school. And here we are still enjoying it. <laughs> that's a riot. But, oh, oh, this is beautiful. And I love this stamp set. I never remember what the name of it is, but I was showing some cards the other day. But look how she has inked it in several different colors. So I don't know if she sponged that or what she has done with it, but it's just really pretty. And this is almost a one layer card. You know, a lot of times to make something, if you just want to add a little, white on white is the way to go. So see, this card could have been done without that or with it. And I th so I think it is just another great idea for doing a single layer. This one is inside Debbie Mookie and Hillary, Melissa Ludke, and Alicia Showman. Oh, so all these people again, how fabulous. That that group just treated me so well. I said it was just amazing. Yes, and indeed. here we are back to um some <laughs> hot air balloons. But isn't that awesome with some clouds out? I said that is oh, see, okay, look at this card. Ooh. We did a card like this in Fun Folds, and I think I used the butterfly. Isn't this awesome with the hot air balloon? Oh, I love it. And it says, you soar above the rest. Congratulations. Aren't these some fun words, too, when you just think of the stamp? So anyway, another, oh, tin tile. Okay, it was close as we were going to the tile. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I, you know, and those are really fun colors, too, the gray and the blue and the, uh, it looks like, um, da 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 um, you know, it's in the soft subtles. We'll do this guessing game and get there. We'll get there closer. It starts with I know it's an S, <laughs> but you know what? Those, it's so fun to look at colors that people choose. Mary Burke's Tim's sister. Congratulations! And I think we all know this: the acetate, the acetate paper that is in the catalog right now. In this catalog, this is going to be ending, and you can put it on any color, and it looks great. Congratulations! That's great. And just an easy, another easy, nice card. Just put things on. Kim Cole from Colorado. Oh, and I think this got a little. I'm just going to reattach that, but oh, that's great. Look at this. Congratulations. And another great layout. Just using some paper. This is another paper I just love. It's the silhouettes, uh, sweet silhouettes or something like that. And then she added a strip down there and then the words with the little sequins. So how fun. Karen. Oh, we're down to the last one. I think. Oh, I yes. should probably go look. If, if we find more, we'll, we'll just add them to Monday nights because, you know, we can't be too organized. And Patricia Settle in Indiana. Okay. That we're going to visit on our next trip to Colorado. Oh, and we, I think we lost an E. It's from <laughs> Celebrat. Oh, well, that could fit too. Let me see if we have a missing piece in here. If we, if we don't, then it fell out. Because I'm sure she had, oh, yes, it's in here. <laughs> How funny is that? But it's stuck to the envelope. So I'll just fix that. Now it's Celebrate instead of Celebrat. Celebrat. Or Celebrats instead. How fun. And she is stamped in there. Aren't these fun cards? I said so so this was just great. I appreciate I appreciate this so much and all the notes that came with it and we just appreciate all of you guys for being in our community. We yeah. do. We just love it all. And so wasn't this fun? Gift ideas, card ideas, and you know, this has just been really a very special year for us. So
I think that's it. We'll see you Monday. And next week is Thanksgiving week already. Time does fly. So Monday night, I'm going to show more little gifty and favor ideas, 3D ideas, and the start of cards from on stage. I have a couple weeks worth of cards from our swaps there. So lots more beautiful cards to come. And thanks to all of you sent that. Thanks for all the hearts. And, and who did your swapping for you? He did my swaps. That was pretty. I made the Two cards, thirds. so I said, "Now you can you can go swap them because you know." And, and it was really fun to watch him just off meeting people and doing that. And then he'd come back, and he, you know, we had like even piles, and he came back, he was all done, and I'd maybe swap ten. <laughs> so I'm going, "Oh, have more, have more. You're not done." <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it, <laughs> but it was fun because then he mixed it around. So you know, we make a good team. So that's all good. So thanks to all of you, and we'll see you Monday night. Okay. Have a good weekend. I'll go Bye. Turn the camera. <laughs> Oops. Oh. No, we're having trouble getting out of that. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for all the hearts.